we've got a couple of, um, well, three uh, little book reviews here, and I just want to get them out. I've already started reading a new book. I'm still um, listening to an audio, but I'm almost done with it, and then I will be starting a new audio, and I'll tell you guys about those in my next book book review. But let's just get started. This is really quick. I just want to get this done because I want to give send one of these to my daughter, and I've got a box of Halloween goodies to send her, so I want to get um, Halloween slash fall goodies that I want to get sent out to her, so... Yeah, so anyway, so let's start with this one, because that's the first one I read. Um, this is Lisa Jewell, Watching You, and you know I'm a huge Lisa Jewell fan. Um, I love her books. I read, and then she was gone, Before I Met You. Um, I've read a few of these, but uh, some of these I have not read, but that's okay. Um, I do plan on reading most of these, because I do love Lisa Jewell. This book was written in 2018, and it is a really good book, except for, and here's the deal. When I start reading a book, I have to be in a specific frame of mind, or I can't focus. So obviously, when I read this book, I was not in a really good frame of mind where I could focus and stay in it. And some books can get me out of that and just suck me in. Unfortunately, this Lisa Jewell did not do that for me, but it's really, 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 really good. I suggest if you like Lisa Jewell, if you haven't read this one, to read it. Um, so, Melville Heights is one of the nicest neighborhoods in Bristol, England, home to doctors and lawyers and old money academics. It's not the sort of place where people are murdered in their own kitchens, but it is the sort of place where everyone has a secret and prying eyes lurk behind every curtain. So this is really good. Um, it's a thriller. Like I said, I had a hard time staying in it, but throughout the book, they have this interview going on with the police. So you know that somebody was murdered and you see who their suspects are and you're able to draw your conclusion who, this, who the suspects are. I'm trying to see where the interviews start. They start real, real, real soon in the book, like right out the gate. So it's a really good book. I'd suggest you get it. I gave it a 3.5 because it, it couldn't suck me out of whatever was on my mind. So, but it's really good. I suggest if you like Lisa Jewell, read it. It's got a lot of four and five point stars online. So this book is um, a Julia Bart's book. I've never read it. Again, it's a book of the month club. Anytime I see this sign, uh, this symbol for the book of the month. Uh oh, it looks like you're going in and out here. Let me fix that for you. Anytime I see that symbol for book of the month at a thrift store, I grab it because I want to see which book, here let me, there we go, which books they're, um, they're putting out. Because the book of the month club, which I wish I was a member, but I can't afford it, but they send you books that you can try and they're usually new authors or authors that are starting a new genre that they haven't written before. And um, I've liked almost every one of these books that I have read. And so I would love to be a book of the month. But again, it's not in my, my budget right now. Um, so I think this is her first book. Is that right? Yes, because I think... Okay, hold on. No, Brooklyn-based writer, The Writing... Yes, this is her first book. It's The, the Writing Retreat is her first novel. Okay, this book sucked me in. It's an interesting book. If you are, I want to say, I don't even know if that's the right word. If you have an aversion to same-sex sex, sex um, or same-sex attraction, you might not want to read this. But if you're okay with love is love, then it's okay. Um, I enjoyed this book so much. Um you know, the storyline was wonderful. I mean, a writer's retreat, right? To me, anytime there's a, a writer's retreat, I am in, you know, and especially if it's snowing and uh, it was just so interesting. So this lady, this writer, uh, famous writer, always uh, puts on these writer or writing retreats or has she done it before? Well, she's done something like it before, but she puts on these writer retreats and she gets all these really... Uh, up and coming authors in and she makes them or she doesn't kind of makes them write. I can't tell you too much because I don't want to get into it but the, it's like they have to churn out like 5,000 words three to 5,000 words a day something something crazy you know so uh, but and then she brings them all into her her um, 
her library in, in, the, in, in, the, in the evening, one at a time. And she discusses the pages that they've written the day before. And they all have to turn them in by midnight that night. Um, and then she'll pull them in one at a time and discuss their, their material with them and their characters and their plots and this and that. And it's just, you know, it should give them suggestion, but it takes a turn, you guys. And these opportunities that came up for this, these young writers wasn't all it was cracked up to be. And, but the characters in this book are really, really good. I loved it each and every one of the girls that, that were the writers. I actually like the staff because this woman has two staffs as well um, who were actually writers at one time, but that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, you have to buy this book. If you see it, if the thrift store, grab it. You're going to love it. This got a 5.0, I think, from me. Yeah. Now, or was it, I think this got a, it's a 4 or 5. This one got a 4. Five. I am so generous with my fours and five. I've been told I give out them way too easy, but I don't think so. I mean, listen, I didn't give Lisa Jewell a four or a five. So, hey, okay, I'm not that generous. And hello. This one I'm sending to my daughter because I know for a fact she's going to love that. This book is really, really good. And it's another book of the month club. So, Rachel Hawkins, I don't know if I've read her before. Before I was going to look at my... Um, my journal and see, but right, she has been right. She has been writing, um, you YA, right? Young adult. And this is her first, um, she's written 11 books for young readers and her work has been published in more than a dozen countries. Isn't she it's cute? She studied gender and sexuality in Victorian literature and the wife upstairs is her first adult novel. Okay. It's really good. It's about this 24-year-old dog walker, girl, female, woman, and she is in a pickle in her, you know, current situation. She's never had it easy. And so she moves in with a friend in another town. I think it's in Alabama. And she hates him. He and he's cringy. AF, you guys, he's so cringy. It's like, ugh, you know, it's like gross, you know. Um, but she moves in with him because she's, she's, she doesn't have anything else to do. So she becomes a dog walker in this affluent neighborhood in this, in the area that she moves to or not in the area she lives. Obviously she has to go to this beautiful neighborhood and then things take a turn. She meets somebody in the neighborhood and then she kind of becomes a part of the neighborhood and then things take a turn and the whole time you're kind of wondering, you know, you always know that those, that what happens behind the gates are, and you, what you see on TV is usually not all that's happening behind the gates. Well, this is one of those things that these people aren't, you know, perfect. And there's a lot of clicks and there's a lot of things happening. And um, it's just interesting once she meets Eddie. So anyway, after she meets this guy, and he gets a dog because he wants her to become his dog walker. Um, it just, the, t it, the tail takes off and you're not going to be able to put this book down. I, let me read you. I got to read you the first page. Okay, there's language, so calm down. But this I read this to my daughter. She goes, okay, send it. So here's the first page. It, you guys have to read this. It says, okay, it is absolutely the shittiest day for a walk. Rain has been pouring down all morning, making my drive from Center Point out here to Mountain Brook a nightmare. Soaking the hem of my jeans as I get out of the car in the Reed's driveway, making my sneakers squelch on the marble floors of the foyer. But Mrs. Reed is holding her dog Bear's lease, making a face, oh, with this frown of exaggerated sympathy. Oh, you poor girl. That's supposed to let me know how bad she feels about sending me out in the rain on this Monday morning. That's the important thing, that I know that she feels bad. She still expects me to do it, though. I've been walking dogs in the Thornfield Estate subdivision for about a month now, and if there's one thing I've definitely figured out, it's that matters. what matters most is how everything looks. Mrs. Reed looks sympathetic. She looks like she absolutely hates that I have to walk her collie bear on a cold and stormy day in mid-February. She looks like she actually gives a fuck about me as a person. She doesn't, though, which is fine, really. It's not like I give a fuck about her either. So I smile, tugging at the bottom of my army green raincoat. I came prepared, I tell her, like taking Bear's leash. We're standing in the front of the foyer of the Reed home to 
To my left is a giant framed mirror propped against the wall reflecting me, Mrs. Reed and Bear, already straining toward the door. There is also a distressed wood table. Um, okay, so that's it. So then you get the gist. There's language and this girl and the, the uh, I can't remember her name, Jane. So Jane is so relatable, you guys. Her situation is so relatable. If you haven't seen this, if you haven't read this, go buy this book. It's a 5.0 in my book. So please read that. I got to send this to my daughter. Now that this book review is done. I hope you guys check out these books. Every one of them is worth reading. And I love this one the most. This one middle and not this one so much. But again, I blame that on my mood. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I have lots going on. I'm kind of doing a fall uh, vlog right now. So that will be up. And then another Fatty Patty very soon, which is going to be such a mess. Okay, I love you guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye, guys. Be well.